Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bionadon's Mods. This is Otaku Showboat, and today I will be discussing circuits. Basic circuits. If you have been enjoying these tutorials thus far, please be sure to do all of the engagement and social stuff below the video. As always, this series is supported by my patrons at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. You can also support Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyanodon. Circuits are a little bit more complex than they used to be before the release of Pi Alien Life. This video is, of course, going to be in light of the release of Pi Alien Life, as well as many, many other updates, uh, particularly to glass and the introduction of glassworks that have happened uh, during the time since the previous main circuit processing video. Or circuit production video, I suppose. It's not really processing so much as it's uh, producing out of plates and such our circuits. On today's Helmod production line, I have one circuit per second listed out, although realistically speaking, this should be 1.25 to get one whole chip shooter machine's output. So if you want to plan out to have one chip shooter's output of circuits, this is how much stuff you're going to need uh, to have, how many buildings you're going to need to have, etc. Remember, round up. Always round up on your buildings. In fact, it might be a little bit better if I do go back to here and be like, hey, just show me full numbers on the number of factories, because it, you always need to round up on the factories, but show me all of the all of the values to the thousandths. Hundredths. I would like thousands, but uh, it shows to the hundredths place on here. So, for this particular video, unlike the ore processing videos, uh, we are going to work backwards uh, from the beginning. Or shall we say, we're going to work towards each of these individual ingredients from the beginning of each of these individual ingredients. We're going to end with printed circuit substrate 1. So, we will start with the ceramic capacitors. We will need ceramic capacitors. This is formerly known as capacitor 1, because there is an upgraded version of it that was capacitor 2, but that now also has its own unique name. We are going to need three electronics factories for this, but I will note before going on, chip shooter machines require printed circuit substrate 1, or PCB1s, in order to actually make the chip shooter machine. You will need PCB1s to even make this building, so keep that in mind. You'll need to go through and do all of the stuff to get printed circuit 1s before you can finally make your chip shooter. So, going on from here, three electronics factories for our one chip shooter machine to make 1.25, 1 to 1 ratio of capacitors into circuits. This needs ceramics and tin. Well, ceramics are clay and coke. Clay is steam. So steam to make clay in clay pits. Clay plus coke to make ceramics in high pressure furnaces. Ceramics plus tin to make our capacitors in our electronics factory. This ceramics has a second recipe that will become available to you uh, eventually, beyond the red science phase of the game, or beyond your initial setup for circuits. I'm, I have put everything listed out here in terms of how you would do all of this initially. That is this production line. This is the initial process that you will have to go through in order to get into your first automation of circuits. It does change over time as you get further into the tech tree and get access to better recipes for various things. 
that includes ceramics because ceramics also has a recipe that adds in salt to improve your output of ceramics. Uh, it's somewhat useful in that it would reduce the amount of coke overall, I believe, uh, that you would need to spend, as well as the solid fuel or whatever fuel you're using to get the steam for the uh, for the clay. So that's that's going to be your capacitors. The air core inductors are next ingredient. These are copper cables made out of copper plates and ceramic, and we've already looked and seen the ceramic. So that's that's also pretty simple in one electronics factory. The high-powered resistors in an electronics factory, three electronics factories. This is going to use coke, glass, and tin plates, and it is at this point that I will note glass comes from molten glass now and can be cast through hot air casting. And at the phase of the game, you'll be doing this initially. Uh, you will have access to Syngas uh, as one of many options available to you uh, to use for the fuel, the liquid fuel that you need for the Glassworks buildings to get your glass. So that is a major change there uh, to the pie suite that has happened. Uh, you will need molten glass to get your glass uh, now at all phases of the game. Uh, so there, there you go. There's your high-powered resistor. The th next ingredient, remembering we're going to do PCB ones last, the next ingredient is vacuum tubes. And this, three more electronics factories, will add in iron and copper plates with graphite, which is simply coke, plus glass, which is effectively molten glass, and a bit of vacuum, which gets just... Uh, in this case, it would be the output from two vacuum pumps, or pressure pumps, as they uh, are actually named in the game. They're pressure pumps, but their code, in the code, the actual entity name is actually vacuum pump. Stuff, things, and intricacies with the pie suite. Anyway, uh, vacuum, yes. You need that because obviously it's a vacuum pump. Tube tube. It's a vacuum tube that you need the pump for. So there's there's the there's the four of the five. I mean, is, is that particularly difficult the four of the the four of the five? Not really. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of raw ingredients here, don't get me wrong. There's this is it is pretty expensive to make circuit ones through the automated recipe. Uh, it is actually cheaper to just handcraft circuit ones, but uh, the name of the game is Factorio, and it's all about automation, so automate, automate, automate! You need automation for the amount of circuits you're going to need in the long run. That leaves PCB2s. That is going to be the biggest hurdle for you in the Circuit 1 uh, chain. The biggest hurdle is going to be Circuit uh, PCB ones, just like in Circuit Twos, of course. Uh, I would say that the biggest hurdle is PCB Twos as part of Circuit Twos. Generally speaking, generally speaking, the PCB is going to be one of the more difficult things. So, how are we going to get PCB ones? Well, you need a special building called the PCB Factory to make these. You will need two of them for this scale of the build. Uh, it is going to consume. 1.25 copper plates, a bunch of copper plates, some formica, and more vacuum. So, just vacuum is free. The formica is what is unique here. The formica will be made in a wood processing unit, or a WPU, out of melamine, resin, and fiberboard. The fiberboard and the early phases of the game will be made out of treated wood, raw fiber, sodium hydroxide, which I'm realizing I don't think I listed out the sodium hydroxide, so at, uh, at this phase of the game. Uh, sodium hydroxide is going to come from saline water, which you're gonna probably be getting out of stone. Yes, at at Red Science, it's it it's stone. It's it's stone. 
Excuse me, I sneezed. Anyway, uh, you'll you'll do stone into saline into ultimately sodium hydroxide. You'll have to vent the uh, hydrogen and chlorine initially. You're probably going to want to do this process for uh, hydrogen chloride uh, eventually, but for now, you, when you need the sodium hydroxide uh, at the red science phase of the game, this is the way that you will be forced to do it uh, to get into your fiber board. Now, the treated wood is just wood plus creosote. Ideally, you have automated your wood uh, by this point in the game. Uh, and then the creosote is tar. You just tar into creosote. However you want to get your tar, doesn't matter. Now the fiber, the raw fiber, depends on what you want to set up and when. In this instance, for this example, I have listed raw fiber from wood. Because that, that is a valid recipe. Another valid recipe is raw fiber from kickalk, but you would need to add in kickalk to your red science phase creatures slash plants that you produce before being able to do this. So if you are okay with extending the amount of time needed to automate your circuits even more than how much it's been extended already by adding in kickalk to your main bus build what more or most likely going to be your main bus build or at least your initial beginning starter base build uh yeah unless unless you want to add kickalk to that i just I'd just say stick with wood uh kickalk of course is going to be your long-term solution to raw fiber but for now Assuming that your starting base, however you've organized it, is going to be temporary and completely eradicated after you've properly got everything in it set up on a rail network or a bot base network, uh, the wood is fine. The wood is the wood is fine for for now. The the wood should be fine. As for the melamine resin, uh, this stuff will be out of urea and melamine and formaldehyde. Now, this is where we're going to get into some interesting biotic-based stuff. Up to this point, everything has been basically the same as pre-Pi Alien Life, but it is at this point with alien Pi Alien Life that we now get into a lot more complexity. So if we are using the normal game, not Pi Block or anything like that, just in a normal Pi Suite game with Pi Alien Life, it is at this point that I need to know, and this is where I'll actually transition from working backwards to now working forward from the base. In order to get into urea, and in order to get into formaldehyde, which you'll need the urea to even get into the melamine as well, it's just consider the melamine resins melamine to also be from urea, basically from the cyanic and the ammonia. How are we going to get urea? And how are we going to get formaldehyde when formaldehyde requires methane? You do have an abiotic, abiotic option for methane in the form of converting natural gas to methane. Uh, let me look this up in the tech tree. Uh, so, methane. Of course, there are the options from the moon drops. But, uh, let's see, we've got access to coal bed gas, but we don't have the recipes to actually do methane out of coal bed gas until uh, blue science. There's also uh, what else? There's the shale oil development at green science, but that's green science. I don't really think there's anything at red that's accessible to you yet, because there's lots and lots of recipes that gives methane. In particular, I was thinking of this, natural gas into, and tint chromium alloy into methane. This doesn't unlock until blue science, so you are effectively required 
to go the route of Moondrop at the red science phase of the game to get your formaldehyde. Moon drop, uh, and this of course changes as I just showed. As you go throughout the game, there will be abiotic methods of getting methane. It's just you've got to get to those later phases of the game first. In order to get moon drop, you're going to need moon drop, as in the modules for the moon drop. You're also going to need for the urea. There are a couple options, a few options actually for urea, but the only one that's going to truly be available to you at this point in the game is going to be the version of urea that is out of liquid manure and zogna bacteria. This is different if you're playing pie block because you can do blood into blood and wastewater both into urea out of fish, basic fish stuff. So there is an alternative. You can dodge the augs for this. You can't dodge augs forever, but you can dodge them for this uh, in pie block. But for a standard game, uh, liquid manure from manure from augs. Well, how are you going to get augs? How, how are you going to get augs to use as your augs? Your, your first augs for your aug paddocks? Well, that not listed here is going to require you to get cDNA which is going to require this thing called retrovirus, which is going to require this stuff called Vrauk cocoons, which means you're going to need Vrauk for Vrauk cocoons for retrovirus for cDNA to make your first augs. And you're going to go through the similar process to do the moon drop, as well as things like Relesia, which will, you'll also need for red science. It's going to be required for your kick alk to do your kick alk if you want to do kick alk based fiber at red science. This takes time. So assuming you've gone through the process and you now have access to augs after setting up route cocoons for retrovirus for cDNA, etc. and have enough red science to throw in to make the codexes that you need and make the uh, uh, sam alien samples that you need. This leads like a bear sample, whatever, bear DNA sample out of a data array uh, to have all the ingredients to make your first aug. You'll then have to make caged augs, which means you'll need cages, which is titanium and all of that, but you need the cages anyway because you set that up for Vrauk to do the same thing with Vrauk. Once you have enough modules to fill up the aug paddocks for manure, what manure recipe are we going to use? Well, for this example, I have used the basic biomass plus moss recipe. There is a recipe that involves aug food, but the aug food involves also setting up phalagi and plastic to make, which just adds even more complexity to it. For the purposes of this, we have 16 aug paddocks consuming 4.08 moss and 4.08 biomass. Doesn't matter how you get the biomass, doesn't matter how you get the moss. There's lots of composting recipes. It's up to you, your choice on the bio, on the uh, biomass, up to you which moss recipe. We, you already know how to get moss by now from Red Science. So from here, the manure, you add water in a bioreactor, which needs plastic. You're going to need plastic anyway in, in like this whole process of even getting into the first augs in the first place. It's like, all of that is also going to require plastic, it's also going to require Nexlet. It's insanity, this whole process, to even get to the Augs in the first place. I don't have it listed here, but just keep this in mind. In order to get to your first Augs, you'll, you ultimately need, need Vrauk. In order to get your first Vrauk, you're going to need to have specific buildings to do that, in which you're going to need to get into plastic and an exlet by now so there's there's your new timings by the way for plastic and exlet it's red science now as you're working towards getting alien life going uh going into ultimately circuit production and bone meal for your green science because that's what your augs are going to be used for as well 
you need augs for caged augs, for bone meal, and augs for manure. You need you need a lot of augs. A lot of aug paddocks, and these things are huge. They're huge buildings uh, these days. Uh, 14 by 14 tiles, uh, to be very specific as to just how large the aug paddocks actually are. Each. So, make sure you have some space for your alien life, just in general. Uh, lots, lots of space required. Okay, so that's your liquid manure, the liquid manure, ne and needs Zogna bacteria to actually make the urea. So the Zogna bacteria requires several things. The Zogna, right? Right in here. Zogna. You need an incubator to make the Zogna bacteria. You also need wood, lamps, petri dishes, and pressured air. Now, the lamps, uh, be prepared for heavy expenditure of lamps in the long run, but lamps are just iron, copper, and glass, which we know glass is molten glass. The petri dishes need agar and empty petri dishes, which can also be hot air cast out of molten glass. They are, they are another thing that comes directly from molten glass. You know how to make these by now, because these are red science stuff. You need, you need to, to do the incubated dishes for your red science. Here, you're not incubating them. You're just using them as they are. Um, so there's, there's your Zogna. I highly dislike this particular method of getting into urea, particularly because it spends metal plates to get a biotic substance. Like, I, I don't really like the concept of spending metals and glass and stuff and stuff for something that's like biotic in nature. Uh, but let's just say that you will eventually not need as much urea. A, and there's going to be other methods of getting urea that uh, you'll have access to as you go down the tech tree. Uh, in particular, the uh, ammonia cyanic here. There'll be other recipes, other means of getting ammonia and cyanic that are abiotic means of getting ammonia and cyanic, so you can completely eliminate a huge chunk of the urea requirement to get circuits by going abio abiotic on ammonia and cyanic. You'll still need it for the melamine resin itself, but it's better balance-wise balance for the amount of stuff that you need, amount of circuits that you need in the end uh, by that point in the game. So, there's the urea. There's the... Next, next is the moon drop. So moon drop, you'll need to actually have a consistent source of seeds for the moon drop, uh, which means that you'll need to be constantly making actual moon drop to make seeds, and then you spend the seeds to make the methane. Uh, in th in particular, for this example, I've used the carbon dioxide recipe to make methane. There is a recipe that changes the scale that doesn't use carbon dioxide, just like there's recipes to make moon drop that you'll have access to that don't use soil, etc., etc. This is the best ones that you have access to, the more most advanced recipes that you have access to at Red Science, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Unless I am completely mistaken, these are the ones you ultimately will be using. Um, I think. Moon drop. Let's check. Moon drop one. Uh, so we have uh, the methane from water and CO2 as the only option, and there is no other option besides spending CO2. So I am wrong on that front. There is no method to do this without CO2 out of methane. Uh, there is a fertilizer recipe, though. Good luck having fertilizer at Red Science. Uh, and then for the actual moon drop, yes, you do have access to soil and hydrogen. You have access to a hydrogen, and you have access to a just water and of course, your first one is going to need cDNA uh, and bio samples and bio samples. That's that's the other thing. You also need bio samples for all of, all of this life stuff that we've been making thus far. So yeah, lot lots of extra complexity on the path leading into your setup for circuits. Uh, so there's there's your moon drop. It's the it's the only 
real recipe you have access to right now that you can generally use for the methane and then the best recipe that you have access to for the production of the actual moon drop itself note that there is a little bit of a feedback here with this botanical nursery making the seeds you do return a few moon drop a, a bit of moon drop uh by making the seeds uh generally speaking the way i do this is with loaders i just have an output filtering the moon drop that just belts right back in to input right back into the machine um that i think is one of the easiest ways to handle this little intricacy where you're outputting your input again um so with that that basically covers the formaldehyde which is simply the methane plus copper to make formaldehyde and that is your melamine resin which basically covers literally everything that is that is it that is that is your melamine with resin into your formica into your pcbs and that covers the entirety of the circuit one chain so just to go over the the basic outline one more time you will need ceramic capacitors from ceramics and tin you will need air core inductors from copper cables and ceramic high powered resistors from coke glass and tin vacuum tubes from iron copper graphite glass and vacuum the ceramic is made from coke and clay or coke clay and salt as you go on clay comes from steam in clay pits graphite comes directly from coke the printed circuit substrate ones or pcb ones require you to have copper and formica and vacuum which is free the formica is made out of melamine resin and fiberboard in the beginning your fiberboard recipe is going to be made out of treated wood with raw fiber sodium hydroxide and steam it'll have several byproduct outputs that you will have to void uh, there is an upgraded fiberboard recipe that adds in sodium sulfate if i'm not mistaken that gets rid of all the byproducts uh, that'll be available to you much later the treated wood is made out of wood plus creosote, which is made out of tar. Uh, the raw fiber, you have options to obtain. Uh, I suggest in the, initially out of wood so that you don't have to set up yet another biotic process in the form of kickalk uh, before getting into green science. Uh, your melamine resin requires urea, melamine, and formaldehyde. The melamine will come out of cyanic and ammonia, which will be in itself made out of urea, so we can think of this as melamine resin is made out of urea plus formaldehyde. Ultimately, the formaldehyde requires copper plus methane. Uh, at the beginning of the game, the methane will be made out of moondrop, which requires seeds as well as carbon dioxide you will get the carbon dioxide of course from biomass more likely than not the moon drop seeds will require moon drop uh, and the moon drop itself will come from soil plus hydrogen and additional seeds and water the urea will come from your liquid manure and your zogna bacteria initially initially and it may be different if you're using pie block. The Zogna bacteria requires wood, lamps, petri dishes, and pressurized air. You know how to get petri dishes from your red science, same as wood. The lamps are simply iron, copper, and glass. Copper cables, of course, being copper itself. Uh, and to refresh your memory, petri dishes are empty petri dishes, which is molten glass. You have access to the hot air method by now. Uh, and of course, agar is simply steam plus seaweed. The manure, the liquid manure, requires manure plus water. The manure will need to come from augs, through whichever recipe you prefer for the augs. 
the recipe, the most basic which, of which is biomass plus moss plus water barrels equals manure. Uh, the, the biomass can be obtained any way you wish. Same with the moss. And that just leaves, of course, way back above where I mentioned you need sodium hydroxide for the for the fiberboard. Uh, so sodium hydroxide, of course, would be from saline water from stone. Stone into saline water into sodium hydroxide. Initially at Red Science, this, of course, changes as you go along the tech tree. That is the overall outline of the circuit processing chain. But it also requires the preparation of Vrauk into Vrauk cocoons into retrovirus into cDNA into augs and moondrop in order to actually get to this point. So definitely keep in mind that also in that process, you will also need plastic and nexalit set up. So you will need Vrauk, plastic, nexalit, retrovirus, cDNA for first aug and first moon drop, and you will need caged augs to continue getting modules for the augs making manure. There's, there's your complexity that is added into this with having Pi Alien Life. If you do not have Pi Alien Life, of course, the urea will be produced directly out of an aug paddock and you will feed them stuff. You will feed them stuff. You'll have easy access to the food that they need and they will just simply output urea. Similarly with the moon drop, you'll get methane right out of moon drop directly that you get rid of all of this stuff it is simply moon drops outputting methane uh, i think also from co2 in or some there's some degrees of complexity there too but you don't need a double setup of uh, the moon drops if you're not using pi alien life but if you are this is what it looks like and that's all of the stuff that's involved with getting into those creatures with that over 30 minutes of talking about the basic circuits i would like to very much thank you all for watching oh this has been otaku showboat if you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far please be sure to do all of the engagement and social stuff below the video this series is of course supported by my patrons at patreon.com slash otaku showboat you, of course, can also support Pyandon's monster development at patreon.com slash Pyandon. And I will, of course, see you all on the next one.